Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for mid-February, okay? So keep that in mind. The timing is still fluid, but we are intending this to be for the middle of February, but you know, it could happen at any time. So what do we have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? What do we have for Sagittarius? Quill, get back to the basics. That's a clear message. You need to get back to the basics to have some sort of success. Oh. We're not going to take those because it's a big pile. We're going to take that one and that one. Door, opportunity, opportunities are waiting for you. So there is a, there's an opportunity waiting for you. Notice that door is closed. Okay, somebody has to open the door. They have to go through that door. There's an opportunity waiting for you. It's waiting for you. Wind chimes, peace and harmony. Going through that door will bring you peace and harmony. It will it will ooh I just looked on the bottom fly a period of ill health and depression so some of you could be we all go through it okay so you may be going through a period of ill health or depression you have to get back to the basics the getting back to the basics will bring you peace and harmony. Maybe you've been trying to do too much of something. Opportunity is waiting for you. The door's shut. You have to open the door. Nobody's going to open that door for you. Anyhow, what do we have for Sagittarius? Is an opportunity waiting for you. What do we have for Sagittarius? Money is more important than love. Now that could be you. It could be somebody that you're dealing with. Woo no sexual partner. Some of you may have a new partner on the horizon. You may have one right now. Eight, eight, eight. Eight is a very good number. Okay, when you see eight, 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 it means that this is very positive, abundant changes coming into your life. A flood of abundance. Eights are abundance flowing into your life. There is, an, and it's abundance of everything. So you have some abundance coming into your life. Something is happening, okay, well, something is definitely happening. It has to do with karma, okay, that's a karmic number. Karma times three, okay, there's three, three, okay. So something is happening, whether it's good or bad, this is a very karmic number. What goes around comes around, what goes around comes around, what goes around comes around. We have it three times, okay. So anyway, 888, eight, eight. there's going to be movement. Eights are a number of movement. They're a number of very positive change and a flood of abundance coming into your life. So something is very good, okay. But we have money that is more important in love in the past right now or in the very near future things are definitely gonna get better the time is now when you see 888 the time is now Something could be coming back around as well with 888. Whatever you put out comes back around. That's where the karma comes into play. What goes around comes around. Something is coming back around. 
I wonder if somebody used somebody. And that's what just popped into my mind just for that. And there's some sort of karma playing. Oh, I don't know. That's what just paused. That's what just came into my mind. Some of you have been focused too much on money. You haven't been focused on love, but everything changes. View from above. Get the big picture. You need you need to look at something from above. It look put yourself on the outside, okay? Look at things something from a new perspective. Okay, you need to you need to take a step back and look at something from a new perspective. It's kind of like that hangman card, right? You need to you need to look at things. You need to take a step back from your current situation. And look at it as if you're looking down at it. You're looking down on it. Is it really what it seems? <clears throat> it did come out reversed. So it feels like you, you definitely need to look at something differently. You know, you're looking at it <coughs> from the wrong perspective. You're not looking at it. You need to look at it from a different perspective. You're looking at it from the underneath. It's like the underground. Maybe from the dark side. I don't think you've been getting the big picture. It did come out reversed. I don't think you've been looking it through the right lenses. Everything changes. This is abundance in every way, okay, in your future. You may not see it right now. You may not see it coming because you're not looking at it from the right angle. What do we have for Sagittarius? Watching clouds lie back, rest, and relax. You need to heal from something. I feel like you need to take a time out to heal. Or to relax or take a break. You do need to get back to the basics. You need to bring peace and harmony back to your life. And if you think about the temperance card, everything needs to be done in moderation. I feel like you've been going overboard with something. This card wouldn't have come out otherwise. Lie back, rest, and relax. And that maybe that's why we had a period of ill health. You can't, you know, there's something that you're overdoing. Mm -mm. Passion and pleasure. Savor your life. We have new sexual partner here as well. So you have a new opportunity coming in where there will be pleasure and abundance. A lot of it. But I don't, you may not see it because you're more focused on money or a job. You're not looking for it. It's like you're not looking for this. Savor your life. Distant thunder, clear the air. So this is kind of like a tower situation. You see the lightning? You need to clear the air with something needs to get out, something needs to be said, something needs to happen. There's gonna be a sudden change. Whenever I see lightning in any card, that's sudden change, okay? There is going to be a very sudden change in the near, near future. It's gonna change your direction it's going to bring abundance into your life. You're going to see things through new lenses. You are. Something is going to happen. Okay? It's probably going to be disruptive. What do we have for Sagittarius? Because you've been ignoring something. It feels like you've been doing too much. You've been doing too much. Whatever this is, you've been going overboard. You need to, you need to take a step back. Relax. You know, rejuvenate your soul, heal from that illness or that sickness or that depressive situation that you're in. You know, just breathe, just relax, just, you know, it's kind of like that meditation. We have peace and harmony here and the get back to the basics and the relax card, the meditation. You literally may need to take time to just meditate, you know, let it all go. And we did have clear the air. I think there's something inside of you that is, it's, it's like electrified, right? You may be like, you know, that kind of energy. Like you're just ready to explode, you know, I just, and that's what I just 
felt was just like, oh, you know, so much, so much pent up. I feel like you need to let it out. I don't think you need to let it out in an abusive manner. I think that you need to meditate it out. It's kind of like when you go through a meditation and you release all that negative energy. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. You have to think positive. Something really abundant is coming your way. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. There is going to be passion and pleasure and abundance in your future, but you're not seeing it because this one is reversed. Are you focused on a past soulmate that has moved on? We have many past life relationships in a lifetime. We do. Stay optimistic, stay positive. Things are going to change, and this is going to be a change for the better. There's help from above. There is help from above. You may not see it. You may not believe it. If you don't believe it, then maybe there isn't because you have to believe. It, there is help from above. Just relax. It's time to heal. You have to heal from something. It was part of your karma. Maybe it's a past life. Re and I just got chills. Maybe that's a yes answer. Okay. You have to heal from a karmic situation. It's causing your illness. It's causing your depression. It's causing your energy. Whatever that is. I can feel it. Children, your love life is being affected by children. Now, this may have to do with your childhood or your children or their children or somebody else's children. Somehow, or something about a childhood, somebody's love life is being affected by children. What do we have for Sagittarius? There is a new partner here. There is. You may not see it. And this is the new one. Okay, the new one. And you may not even hear me because some of you are definitely focused on something in the past. Which is causing a lot of anxiety and anger and whatever. I can feel it. It's heavy. There is somebody new here. There is somebody new here. Uh, that is coming in or they're around or you know there is somebody new that you will have a deep connection with it is another past life relationship if you're with somebody already and you are happy you're happy with this person then yes I would say this is a happy past life relationship but this door is closed so going through a door leads you to this passion and pleasure. Huh. You're not seeing the big picture. You're not. There's assistance from above. Self-respect. This is a message from Archangel Michael. <clears throat> Excuse me. Dear God and angels, thank you for helping me see myself as you see me. G telling you what, you're not seeing it. You know, you don't even respect yourself. I'm sorry. Some of you do, right? 
Or a lot of you said, yes, I do. Right? Ah. Dear God and angels, thank you for helping me see myself as you see me through the eyes of love. Thank you for honoring and respecting me. Please guide me to do the same for myself and grant me the courage to speak up on my own behalf. I ask for your protection in all my relationships so that I am surrounding by, surrounded by loving and kind people. <clears throat> Thank you for helping me see myself as you see me. You need to take that view from above. Like I said, you're not seeing yourself as God sees you or as the higher power sees you. That's why that came out reversed. You need to, like you're up there. I said it at the very beginning. This is infinite abundance coming into your life. You don't see it be, because of your own, I'm going to say, we have uh, negative thoughts, positive thinking. There's negative thoughts, your own negative thinking, your own... I'm sorry, but I feel the behavior. That's what I keep feeling. Ask Archangel Michael to help you with this situation. Another message from Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael, thank you for assisting me with, describe your situation. Please help me be filled with faith and peace at all times. You are in a situation right now that is causing disharmony. It's causing illness. It's causing depression. It's pent up. It's pent up. You do need to clear the air. You do need to clear the air. You do. There's something that you need to clear out, okay? You need to clear the air. I'm going to go ahead and read what she wrote in this book because that is the, probably the, the biggest message and the view from above, okay? You're not viewing yourself as God views you. I think there's a, lot, there's a lack of uh, self-respect. Distant thunder. I'll show you the card again in just a minute. Dramatic purification, renewal, and healing are occurring on many levels. Don't be concerned if there is chaos in your life. In this instance, it is good. It is shaking things up so that you don't become stagnant. If your org field or your personal space is cluttered, it's difficult for exciting new experiences and opportunities to come into your life. It's time to clear out clutter, release the old, discarded, and unused. Clear the air and release situations and people that don't empower you. Purify and draw us out of your life. In order for renewal to occur, the old needs to make way for the new. On the distant horizon, a storm is bro brewing. Great shards of lightning are thunderbolting to the earth from the heavens. It can feel chaotic, but it heralds a time of renewal. The thunderstorms clears the dust out of the air and re-energizes the earth. Be open to change. This is change. It really is. Aids are change. Okay, be open to change. All is good, even if it doesn't seem like it. And I don't think you see it. You don't see it. Okay, new energy is flooding through your energy field. Examine your life and see it. See if there is anything that needs to be cleared, renewed, or released. Now is the time. Renewal and even rebirth is at hand. And I said the time is now. The time is now. You got to clear it all out. You got to let it all out, especially the anger. There's some sort of anger in there because I don't think I've ever done that in a reading. This may go all the way back to your childhood, your parents.
So this is a time of rebirth and positive change for you. It really is. You may not see it. You don't see it. Because right now, I think this is something that you need to let go of. You need, it is a time of transformation and rebirth. Re and I got chills again. It keeps happening like crazy. Rebirth or giving birth ain't, it's not easy, okay? It's painful. People usually scream when they give birth or they howl. You know, they cry. It hurts. Whether you're male or female, it hurts to give birth to a new life. It hurts. It hurts. You go through a lot. It's a shock. Even when you've gone through it, you're shocked at the end. That's why we had the thunder. I'm telling you what. You are going through a major transformation and it hurts. And yeah, you might, and when, if you think about when you see people giving birth, they're screaming. Releasing the old. Painful. But the miracle on the other side. You are loved and you are beautiful. That's how God sees you, right? A lot of you don't believe, though, right? Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is hard work. Putting in work. Another eight. The time is now. Eights are the time is now. And I am recording this on February 8th as well. Sorry, I just got to keep that uploaded. Anyhow, so we have a lot of eights here. Eights are abundant change. Change that brings a flood of abundance into your life. Walking away from things that don't serve you. Escaping from your own mental self-limitations. Your own mental self-sabotage that has kept you in a place that you are not supposed to be in. It's mental. It's a mental game. Moving quickly, very, very fast in a new direction. Putting in a lot of effort to create abundance in your life. Working really, really hard. But most of all, finding that inner strength and courage and confidence to master your emotions. Restrain yourself and allow yourself all the time that you need to heal from whatever is going on. Really healing. Inner strength, courage, bravery. Gaining wisdom through your experiences and really just gracefully adapting. Without forcing things or resisting things. I just went through the eights. You're going to be working hard in the future. You're going to be creating something. You may be learning some new skills. And whatever it is that you're doing is going to bring you a flood of abundance, okay? Your hard work is definitely going to pay off. But right now, you're going through the pain of this rebirth. Look at it. My main message, I guess there's a lot here, is to look at it from above. Maybe it was protection. Maybe you have to close the door to go through another one. You do have a new beginning here. You definitely do. And it will work out. But you may have a painful release before you get there. You're probably going through that right now.
Right now, you could be with somebody that, for some of you, it, I mean, I don't see any love in these cards. Maybe it's just sex. I'm just saying. People come in, or maybe that's what it was. People come into our lives as past life relationships to teach us our self-value and our self-worth. Our life lessons. Some of you could maybe meet somebody through your job. Could be a past life relationship. It could work out. It could work out. Either way, I see that you're going to be putting in a lot of effort to change. Putting in a lot of effort to change. I feel like mid-February is a time of clearing the air. Good luck. 